Hi guys and welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in this post I want to show you guys a quick technique that I use to retouch up my eyes a little bit or just do general fixes on my eyes. So last week I showed you guys especially this technique how to do basic skin retouching. In here again I've got my details and blur layer and I've already done a little bit of skin retouching on here. It's not perfect yet but it's just a quick start to get you guys showing here. Alright, so what I want to do now in this tutorial is just retouch up these veins in here a little bit and to give my pupils a little bit of more sharpness. So I want to do this on both eyes and first what I'm going to do now is just zoom out a little bit and then um, I'm going to do a master shortcut. So what I'm going to do is press command alt shift E again all together and there we have a new layer. So on this new layer I'm just going to retouch my veins. So if you want to write veins here or maybe just write eyes eyes and we're going to keep it like that and I'm going to zoom in a little bit and with my healing tool now I'm not using any technique I'm just using my plain old healing tool very very tiny brush and I'm just going in here very closely and I'm just touching up a little bit of these veins in here so this is no means a super nice um, technique or anything this is just a basic technique how to retouch, retouch up these veins a little bit so because I do want to have the sharpness in the background still so I'm just going to retouch this a little bit don't worry if it smudges a little bit you can always work that afterwards and just fix that afterwards again with our technique that I showed you in skin retouching if you take another layer blur that again do another layer on top create a homemade high pass and then you can just brush your tones and luminosity in again so that's what I do sometimes but now for this tutorial I'll just do it like this just retouch on the eyes with the healing brush tool just the veins a little bit over here very carefully doing that I don't want to destroy them all I just want to minimize them a little bit and just take them all out a little bit so if you still see a little bit of red around here don't worry you can fix that afterwards again with some adjustment layers okay paint over here heal all of that so I'm going to just going to heal out the biggest ones not everyone okay and the stroke a few more strokes over here Okay, and another one over here, and another one over there, and over here. Okay, and that looks almost good to me. Looks very clean. It's so close zoomed in, it's almost at a 200, what is it? Um, yeah, 200% almost, so this is so close, nobody's really going to spot this on a print or even on your computer screen. So let me just brush out this a little bit more. I don't want to do too much. Okay, over here, and just that. That's still with my healing brush tool, just with a very, very small brush, very feathered brush. Take all of this out. Okay, over here a little bit more, not too much, over here. And maybe take out a little bit of these eyelashes here. That was a bit bad, so Command Z to go back there. Okay, again, and then over here a little bit, a little bit over here. Okay, and over that. A little bit more, a few small strokes. Okay, then I'm going to go over to this side and do exactly the same as well. Also going to brush again with my healing tool just over here. Very rough. Be careful when you get too close to the pupil. You don't want to get that smudging effect. Okay, over here. Close again, very close by. Sample very, very close by. Okay. And now, as you guys can see, I'm can, I can already do this quite quick. This is because I work with a Vacuum Continuous 4 board and I have a pen. So if you're quite quick with your hand and with good with drawing, I think this pen would help you quite a lot. It does take a little bit of time to get used to the board, but I think after one week of working with it, you will have it and it will be just super easy. Okay, then just brush all of these veins out a little bit more. A little of these ones here at the top, also here. A little bit of these eye reflections. I actually want to take them out a little bit because we do have a little bit of a big beauty dish uh, spot here. So that's fine. A little bit of these eyelashes. Be very carefully again when doing that. Okay, and the small ones here. And a little bit over here. Okay, then I'm going to zoom over here and just retouch this while I'm at it. Also a little bit down here on the eyelashes again. And over here. Feather. Now you can see a bit that we have a little bit of white tones from here and a little bit of red tones. So I'm going to pick more from the red tones now and just sample over here. Don't worry if you sample doubled. You can always just brush over it again or heal over it again. 
Okay, a little bit more, a little bit more. And more. Okay, that was not too good, so I'm going to go back. And over here, over there. Okay, nice. All right, so now we still have enough detail in our eyes. We haven't blurred anything, and we haven't broken anything. Let me just retouch this as well while I'm at it. Don't really like that reflection in there. So I'm going to sample again a little bit from the top there, from here. So yeah, we didn't do any blurring or anything on this layer. We just retouched it a little bit with the healing tool and just cleaned it up a little bit again. So I'm going to zoom out now. So that was my first stage actually of just cleaning up. It does already look a little bit unnatural because it's so super clean. I don't know. Um, yeah, but I mostly use it sometimes for my retouching, not always. Alright, so next step I wanted to do is just sharpen my pupils a little bit. So what I'll do is again press Command Alt Shift E or if you want to, actually we can just say Command J and duplicate our eyes layer here. Double click on that and we're going to rename that to uh, Sharpen if you want to. Sharpen over there. Okay, and now what we're going to go and do is go to Filter and we're going to go to Other, High Pass and we're going to select the High Pass. And now we're just going to sharpen the eyes a little bit. So now be a bit careful when you sharpen the eyes. I actually want to zoom in a little bit closer on the eyes before I go into my option of using the High Pass. So go back to Sharpen, back to Filter, back to Other, High Pass. Okay. In high pass now, what I want to do is just tweak my high pass a little bit and see where my eyes or my pupils actually really pop a lot. So if I do this over three, I can see, okay, my edges are not that sharp yet. So I'll turn them up a little bit more, say five, six, seven, eight, somewhere around there, maybe try 10. 16 is already too high for me, I would say. It starts to get flat a little bit again. So around eight, nine, I think almost 10, that looks good to me. So I'm going to say, okay, that. And now I do have that effect again over my whole image. Don't worry, we're going to fix that in a little bit. But now at the moment I'm not looking at any skin or anything. I'm just looking at the pupils and that's all I want to have. Okay, on our sharpen layer, I'm going to go onto my blending options and in blending options change that again to linear light. So now as you guys can see, it looks totally insane and it looks way too much and just hard, really, really hard. So what I'm going to do now is take my opacity down again to say around 40% or say even lower, say around yeah 38, say around 40%. Okay, switch the layer off, switch it on, switch it off, switch it on. Okay, that looks still a bit intense, so I want to do it still down a little bit, say to 30%, on and off. That looks about right. Okay, so what I'm going to do now on my sharpen layer, I'm just going to create a black mask. So hold Alt, go down here to your mask icon again. And with that, just hold Alt, select that, and we created a mask as you guys can see here, a black mask. So now on the black mask, select that, press B for your brush, and then for white foreground color here, swap it over here. And now what we're going to do is make our brush a little bigger. Hold Control Alt again together. Move it left and right to make your brush a bit bigger and feather it also a little bit. Okay, then I'm also going to make my brush a little bit smaller again over there. I'm working with a Vacuum Intenius 4 board, so via my wheel, I'm able to change that. Okay, 100 opacity from the top here, that's what we want. And also normal blending options for the brush. And now what we're going to do is on the mask here, we're going to just brush in the effect on the pupil, but only on the pupil. Be very carefully when doing this. You want to just get this onto the pupil. That's why I'm also feathering my brush quite a lot because then I can just paint actually a bit rougher. I don't need to be that careful with it. Okay, paint over here. And then we're going to do the same effect on this side. Also just a little bit, a little bit more actually over here. Okay, and this has nothing to do now with getting the eye to look more shinier or anything. This is just to get a little bit of sharpness into your eyes. Okay, like that, that's good. Then I'm going to zoom out a little bit and have a look how much these eyes pop already or just the pupils actually. So if I'm going to take both of these layers again, my eyes and my sharpen, put them together in a group and call this eyes. Okay, and now if I'm going to blend it out, have a look, they look quite dull. If I turn it on, they look way better already. Okay, zoom in a little bit more. Off, on, off, on. So that's actually, yeah, the before and after, before 
and after so they pop way more and that really looks a bit better if I'm going to go back into here I can still take my sharpen layer again and still change my opacity here if you think that this effect is a bit too heavy so play a little bit with this and try what suits for your image so basically yes I just wanted to show you guys a quick technique on how to retouch the eyes a little bit show you guys how to do the sharpen a bit yeah so that's basically it if you guys are interested in learning more about basic and advanced skin retouching plus also hair if if you want to learn more about eyes and looks and how to do your beauty portraits and even more stuff then head over to photo hire and orms in cape town we have completed a complete beauty retouching dvd for you which shows about 90 minutes of pure retouching seven chapters and 21 techniques all tips and tricks are out there are no secrets so head over now and get yourself one of these packages all right guys um if you still have any questions about this tutorial please email me to team at manny my name is manny and thank you guys for watching bye bye